What's up guys and gals? My name is Splattercat and welcome to the sewers. We are playing another episode of a wizard's lizard And in the previous episode we had completed the first boss We had gotten ourselves this new kind of smoky sword I don't know how much damage it's gonna do, but it works out pretty great We're also splitting in half using an item that we had picked up. Oh, there was a zombie in a crate over here a mutant zombie So not just a normal zombie a zombie that has had genetic modifications He's decided to better himself or worsen himself. I mean, I suppose you could kind of evolve like a third foot or something. And the third foot always seems like it wouldn't be that useful unless you were already missing a foot. Are those bad? What? Oh, explosive mushrooms. Okay. So those are indeed probably something we want to be careful about. It appears as though those goo balls are holding little spider critters. So these are all going to be things that I'm going to have to investigate once we get a little bit further into the game. And I get a feel for what's been coming out. Okay, there was a bomb in there. So it looks like the game is definitely stepping up a little bit with regards to all the random things that can happen when you break certain containers. The creature that I killed in the middle of the screen looks like it just turned into an ice ball and is floating around. I'm not going to walk into it because I feel like it's probably going to harm me if I do so. This weapon does seem to be a lot stronger than the previous one that I was wielding. It's going through enemies like a hot knife through butter. Which is fantastic because I love both knives and butter. That is a saying that works very, very well for me. Oh my god, everything's exploding around here. I don't know if that's that crystal right there. I don't know if the little things that it shoots out hurt. But I'm going to take a rough guess and say, yes, they probably do hurt like hell. Oh, almost got spiked by... Those things are like my worst enemy. Every single time I see one of those little goth collar things. That, that's what I'm calling those from now on. They're called goth collars. And they hurt like hell. So I feel like I'm making my own problems a lot worse right now. But then again, I've got the artillery to deal with it, so I'm not necessarily lamenting the decision to wipe out all these guys. I do feel like we're more than handling it. It's not like it's making my life any harder when I do this, so... May as well. I'm gonna take a rough stab and say that those rings on the ground are not a carnival game. I'm gonna say that those are probably spike pits. And spike pits of the most dubious nature, too, if I had to hazard a guess. Oh, well. Let's collect our gold nuggets. Oh, and there's a lurker. Got our first kill on the lurker. Well, that's fine. I would rather get a first kill on him than allow him to draw first blood on me. That is for certain, especially because he's a poo monster. He lives in a lake of dookie. I mean, I don't want him touching me at all. I feel like the bacterial exchange that would take place if you ever tried to drag me down to the depths would just be astronomical. I mean, they say there are two types of people that have taken microbiology classes. And they say you come out of a microbiology class, you're either terrified of bacteria, or you are incredibly cavalier about bacteria. And that's the only two ways that you can create a, that you can complete a microbiology class. I'm gonna say that I went with the former. I didn't become like a germaphobe, but I definitely became more paranoid about them. I mean, all it takes is like one amoeba in your eyeball, and all of a sudden you're dead as hell. You're like convulsing up at the hospital. That's a scary, scary, think about how small an amoeba is, and then it just gets like in the wrong orifice, and all of a sudden you, an enormous creature by comparison, are just like, and you just fall over, and that's that. Please don't be a mimic. Ow, you are a mimic, you son of a bitch. All right, well, let's shoot him a couple times with our smoky sword to make us feel better. It doesn't make the pain go away, but it definitely soothes slightly. It's like aloe vera. Revenge is like the aloe vera of this situation, I suppose. I'm actually thinking that if I don't touch some of this stuff, they won't come bother me. I'm not actually... I thought for a minute, when we swapped out the spear, we lost a little bit of range. And we lost a little bit of speed, but to be honest, it's... This weapon is so powerful in the way that it impacts with enemies, it really does do a lot of damage. And so, I'm guessing that the items are maybe subdivided into tiers, and you can only get certain things out of the brown chests, and you can get the really, really nice stuff out of the golden chests, is my guess. And so, maybe the stuff from the brown chest has, like, disadvantages, for example, or maybe the stuff from... The gold chests are just all around better than the brown stuff. I kind of—it's kind of like comparing green items to blue items in World of Warcraft, or you know, blue items to yellow items in Diablo, for example. In any case, I'm assuming that when you get something out of a gold chest, it's just better inherently. It's just like a thing that is better for you. Oh, that was the exit. I didn't want to go out the exit. I mean, we're pretty well equipped right now, so I'm not really that concerned. It took me 18 minutes to go through there. Somehow I feel like that number is slightly off. I don't know. Whatever. Not going to question it. Let's go ahead and bust open all these crates. I am interested in making as much cash as I can before my... Ooh. Somebody filled their fire barrel up with treasure. Although that seems like it would leave your gold very, very much tarnished. I don't know. 
Gold seems like it would have a much lower melting temperature than everything else, so I would be nervous about storing mine in a fire barrel, lest you end up with just this nasty kind of puddle of ooze at the end of the process, this weird oxidized puddle of ooze, but hey, who am I to judge? Whoa, hey, hey now, there will be none of that. So he appears to be some kind of a muck monster, okay. So he kind of blends in with those little puddles on the ground. He becomes one of them, but he also becomes like an animate version of one. Got ourselves an extra dark room right here. Luckily, in the earlier leg of our trip, I am really afraid to open chests now. Like, sincerely. Because there's no real delay right there in which a monster manual, what does that do? Monster manual displays the enemy's health and is equipped to your book pouch. Oh, nice. Okay, so that's a little bit of extra feedback. It already gives us... Everything's health. Oh, a poo pile. Oh my god, okay. How it gets the poo into those perfect spheroids, I'm not going to question, but I'm guessing that's somebody's job. And I'm going to go out on a limb right here, but I'm going to say the job qualifications for being the poop smith, as they would call him in Homestyle 1, is probably pretty low. I'm guessing you more than likely don't need an all a college education to be the village poop smith. I'm going to say that's the guy that's sitting there formulating all those things and then filing them in into the poo cannon. Why is it that, I don't know why it is, that anything involving poo still makes me laugh. You'd think I would have grown out of this by the time I hit, like, the ripe old age of the mid-twenties, but for whatever reason, it continues to be funny. I don't know why. I don't know why. It's something I never grew out of. Go back over to the left. Ooh, muck monster. So it's not going to allow us to leave until we get rid of the muck monster. The doors stay closed so long as there's a critter around. It's probably in my best interest not to wake up any further muck monsters. Let's make a cut to the left. We need some kind of key to get in there. However, the doors have shut on us. It may be because of the ghosts? Oh, never mind. There's a switch right here. <laughs> never mind. Going for the complicated solution when the smart one's right in front of me. This is what happens. Everybody says I always overcomplicate things. That is a common complaint about Splattercat that I hear. Not necessarily on YouTube, but even in real life. You're like, you always overcomplicate stuff. Like, yeah, because I want it to be more complicated. I don't like to believe that things are as simple as they are. It makes me bored. You gotta make them more compli- Oh, what was that? Is that this eyeball thing over there? God. Hey, another villager. Hell yeah. Hey, buddy. How you feeling? He's like, oh, about 500 gold better. Here you go. And I'm like, all right, I feel 500 gold better too. Oh, these damn mimics. There really needs to be like some way for you to get out of that first free hit, I think. Like there needs to be some way to actually, because as it feels right now, it feels like you're gambling. Whenever you open a brown chest, you might just get hit and that's what happens. I don't know, maybe that's by design intent. If that's the case, then I retract my claims. However, I feel like there should be some way to dodge that. If you're ready for it anyways. I mean, all that does is it makes me really not want to open any of the brown chests. And considering how much actual loot we have right now, that may actually be the wisest decision that we can make in this case. Another muck monster's back up, but we are aware of his positioning, so it's not quite as bad as it could be. There we go, we'll get him. And got another one of these rooms o Satan. Where does one order a room o Satan? I don't feel like that's something that you can put on. Like, you know how, for example, at Home Depot, you can buy, like, full bathrooms and things? I don't feel like Home Depot would carry a room o Satan. I feel like that would, be, that would be one of those objects that they're, yeah, we're out of stock. We don't carry that here. This goes against our company policies. The worship of Satan in the middle of your living room. <laughs> All right, one more enemy down. Well, two more. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. Balls. Okay, and so, oh no, we go into ghost mode, that's right, I forgot we have to go into ghost mode. We definitely want to get clear of some of these, so as you can see, the game gets a lot more difficult when you're in ghost mode. It's not in your best interest to play in the hard mode, because now we have to deal with all the ethereal monsters too. Like the little ghosts that are wandering around and whatnot. So we got another soul orb. The only reason, I've been using my special abilities, you probably noticed, is because there's a delay. It forces you to stand still whenever you use them, and so you only really want to, oh, I did it again. Feeling like an idiot right now. Those spiky things, goth collars, causing me problems. There we go, I'll sprint through the middle of them like so. It's a bit safer. Grab the remainder of my gold. 
make sure that none of these little I, I wouldn't eat a steak out of a barrel in a sewer but our character is a lizard I guess that he and or she has no I'm gonna say she has no problem with it Raga sounds like a female ow okay so I've got limited maneuverability right now there's a lot of soul power being dropped at the moment Do they always drop those? Like, I'm wondering if I get to respawn, if I can accumulate, like, a certain amount of... Can I walk out here? No, I cannot. Okay, so that's what I was wondering, because it dropped our power-ups out there. Which makes me want a derper. <laughs> I'd be offended if somebody named me a derper. I'd be a little bit upset. I'd be like, really? Of all the names you could have given me, I'm the derper? You know what the other monsters are going to say when they find out I'm called a derper, right? I am never going to hear the end of this at the pub. Oh, wow, there's a bunch of monsters down here. Okay, we'll wipe them out. A couple of goth collars and a... a couple of goth collars and a crown. I'm gonna go around this way because it seems a tiny bit safer. And there's nobody else down here, right? Oh, there's one. Okay, one of those things is down here. One of the little poo men. Sprint across there, and then we'll go northward out of the room. Ah, blueprint for 20,000 gold. We'll take it. Got the Slord <laughs> blueprint, and so my guess is that's either a very, very slow sword, or it's a sword that slows your enemies down whenever you strike them with it. If I had to wager a guess on the wordplay right there, or at least on the spelling play. Let's go back to whence we came. We'll go upwards out of here, I guess. With 30 health remaining, we can buy a cupcake, we can buy a bread, or we can have a zombie attack us from inside of a barrel. Pleasurable as always. What does the dagger do? Oh, you just throw it all over the place and it's really fast. That's kind of cool, though. I think I like my swords better, though. We'll go with full health right now. And I did that, actually, just to see if maybe it would res me and put me back to the other mode, but my guess is that maybe you need, like, a way better item in order to do that. Melissa's cupcake, does that do anything for me? No. Okay, I don't know who Melissa is, but apparently I got her cupcake. And that looked like food that was made. I looked like one of those Midas breads. Like a bread loaf made out of gold. But it was not. It looks like we haven't gone down over here. I like how the maps expand and they get larger and larger. So that you're not always dealing with the same thing. Oh my. Okay, so let's drop you right there. I'm just going to let you have a field day. Or not kill anything. I mean, that's pretty much the same thing as a field day, right? Kill that off right there. Although as a geologist, I have to sincerely recontemplate. Like, when people say they're having a field day, I realize that's probably an outdated term. But for me, when I hear the term field day, it means usually field week. Fields don't come in days. Typically, I go with field weeks. And that usually means I'm going to be sitting around in the blazing sun for a week sleeping in a tent on top of like a shale bed or something so maybe it doesn't quite inspire the same amount of hooray in me that it does in everybody else now these eyeballs as I recall fire those giant Kamehameha laser things and I don't want to be any part of that exchange so I'm gonna try and kill them very very rapidly crack these barrels open just to maybe oh we're at full health what do I care let's keep flying this room looks a little dangerous Eh. Got like some Bomberman action going on right now where you don't want to blow yourself up, but you are trying to get rid of obstacles. Destroy that right there. So, for the fact that I just got a Sega Dreamcast, even better, I just got a Sega Dreamcast for free. Somebody just gave it to me. They were like, hey, you want a Sega Dreamcast? And I was like, does a bear shit in the woods? Yes, I would love a Sega Dreamcast. And they're like, alright, come pick it up. And so, what games should I get for the Sega Dreamcast? I never had a Sega Dreamcast. I had an N64, a Sega Genesis, a Super Nintendo, and a Nintendo growing up. And then later on, I got a PlayStation and a PlayStation 2 and all that. I'm going to actually use... This map looks like I'm going to have to be a little bit careful. I'm going to put that right there so that maybe we get some... Ah, come on. Oh, okay, I made it out of that one. I'm going to drop that right there, though, so maybe we get some freebie hits on this guy when he tries to come down and mess with us. And I am deeply regretting being in ghost mode right now. I'm hoping that at some point the ghost orbs or the soul orbs will allow me to come back to life and they're not specifically for my special attack. Because the problem I'm finding with the special attack right now is that it makes you stay in the same spot for so long that it's 
I don't know, I haven't played around with it enough yet, but the few times I've used it, I've always traded a hit. Which in a game like this, you kind of want to avoid doing because it's either going to cost you a large amount of money to get your health back, or B, it's just going to take you a while and it's going to put you at risk later on down the line. Anyways, what Sega Dreamcast games should I get? There's all kinds of Sega Dreamcast games out there. I always wanted Shenmue, so I'll probably go get that one. Shenmue always seemed awesome. And I was always disappointed that Shenmue never got like a sequel or anything like that. Just because it seemed like a really awesome, interesting game. So I may check that out. See if I can kill him before he floods my entire corridor with his eye goopies. His morning boogers. Down he goes. We've got this weird thing over here that looks like intestines made out of, I don't know, diarrhea or something. We'll murder that. Lots of explosives. I like the way... Oh my god, we got hit by a muck monster. I feel like an idiot now. Muck monsters are usually pretty obvious, so I prefer not to get hit by them because it kind of damages... It damages the ego just as much, damages the pride equally as much as it damages the health bar. Kill off some of these skeletons, which are spawning out of these bone piles down here. You've got to destroy the bone piles, otherwise they just keep on coming. Let's see if I can get rid of the muck monster right there without eating a hit. And these spotted green mushrooms are not quite as friendly in this game as they are in Super Mario Bros. I kind of want to stay away from them in this game. I swear to God, those mimics... You can't even, like, shoot them beforehand or blow them up or anything. They're just immune to damage until you spawn them. So, yeah, it's basically a free hit. I suppose it's like gambling with your health on whether or not you're going to get an item or not, but it kind of... I don't know. I don't like it. I don't like it. It makes me upset that things that are supposed to give me... Tre My treasure receptacles are now exacting a blood debt from me, and I don't like that. I don't like paying in blood. Oh, that's my total playtime. I'm dumb. I'm super dumb. Oh, well. Let's go ahead and wipe out the remainder of all of these barrels here. And there we go. Let's see if maybe... Ooh, I used my soul power right there, and it actually saved me. Okay, good. So if you're feeling surrounded, Y button is the trick. At least it does the trick. Get rid of some of these little goobers down here. Break that. Ooh, almost got nailed right there. If my collision... I feel like I cheated. Oh, goth collar took a little bit of a payment for me. And forgive my random hiccup there. I'm not going to open that chest. It makes me sad. I'm going to learn my lesson for once and just keep on going. Do I have any boots? I do not. I do not have boots. And it's the ranger boots. So it'll probably make me faster. Increases your speed and is equipped to the feet. Good. Going a little bit quicker now. We are picking up speed over time. Our trajectory is indeed growing slowly, but still not quite as loosey-goosey as I would prefer it to be. So hopefully we'll pick up a few more items, help me move around a bit quicker. Ooh, I like this room. This is like that room that you got to go to in Smash TV after you completed the boss and you got to grab all the prizes. And they'd be like, a brand new car! Or you get like the toaster and the TV. We can get ranger hand wraps instead of the fire. I'm going to go with the ranger hand wraps because I like being fast more than I like taking less damage from fire. Eh. Go away, zombies. No! Oh, my. All right. Well, at least we survived. We're going to have to find ourselves some food, though, very, very shortly. I like this game. I'm liking this game a lot. I mean, it, you can tell... Sometimes with a game, you can just tell that the creator loves the game. And from this game, that's the definite vibe that I'm getting, is that the developer really did enjoy creating this game, is enjoying creating this game. Like, some games are developed very cynically, and you tend to see that from bigger... Oh, I almost walked into the poop pipe. If I had gotten killed by a... Oh, no, Flaming Skull! We are not doing that dance today. Not at all. He's like, I see you are low on health, so now I wish to destroy you. I'm like, you wish to destroy me since we first met. He's like, ignore that. Now I really want to kill you. I have upgraded my priority list. In the larger scheme of things, I have decided that you are a major, major threat. Murder a few more guys and hope that they drop their dinner steak or something. Nothing from right there. Blow up the yellow or the orange mushroom. This room actually looks like it's a dead end. So I guess we'll head back the other way. So maybe... 
down and left. I like how the gear stays there, though. That's one thing I will point out, is I really like the way that the gear stays there, in case later on you come back and you're like, well, maybe that was a bad choice. It doesn't despawn on you, which is a very cool thing. I like that a lot, in fact. Let's get rid of the things that run at us first. Okay, so that's handled. Like a beer mug, almost. Try and kill everything off down here. You have killed the Loy Eye ten times. That's nice, dear. Ooh, the bone pile doesn't hurt me. I learned something new just now. We can run across the bone pile and nothing terrible happens. It doesn't jut through our fragile little lizard foot. That's good because I like my fragile little lizard foot. I've put a lot of vested time into my lizard foot. And were anything to happen to it, I would be sort of upset with the amount of time that I've wasted developing it into the foot that it is. The pedicle of pedigree that it is. Those are obviously going to shoot at me. Oh, we may not be able to get out of the way of that one. Okay, made it. I should be breaking barrels right now to see if I can get myself more health. But a lot of these barrels are sort of... I don't know. No, maybe I'm just lazy. Okay, so that's not gonna work. Come on, food! Feed me, game! Let's see if I can fish out some free hits from the totem. Oh, there it is. I don't even know what just hit me. Oh, it was a muck monster. Okay, and so that was our first death. Game over. We made it 33 minutes in game. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here in the Nerd Castle. If you would like to see more A Wizard's Lizard, we can do more runs here. I don't mind at all. I will see you all in the next episode if there is one. If not, take care out there, everybody, and hi do.